We're here at the Sea House in downtown Chicago where Lucas Henning is our wine director. We're here with Fred Scheer and he's going to be talking about um, some of his wines and some questions that are often asked from some of my students. Ever put a screw cap on all your reds? Would you ever consider it? I want to consider all kinds of things. Would you ever do? Um, if I had a machine to do it, of course. Really? I have my own okay. bottling machine and it, it is a compressible device. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's made for pushing corks and bottles. And I've experimented with uh, various types of plugs, uh, synthetics and uh, agglomerated corks and things like that. And I've pretty well satisfied my curiosity and I'm, I'm using natural corks on everything at this point. Um, I'm screening them very, um, very rigorously for same extraction, you know, lack of taint, mm -hmm. uniformity, etc. But I wouldn't rule out using a screw cap. From what I understand about the pros and cons of using screw caps and the types of wines that respond well to them, I'm not sure that my style of wine with the reductive winemaking is going to respond well to that. Huh. But I'm quite willing to, to give it a shot. Right. You know, and, and get, do it on a trial basis because if it makes better wine, my God, let's let's go there. Right. But I also don't understand why we don't consider crown caps as well. Crown caps act actually much easier to, to deal with. Right. You know, that's how champagnes are bottled with a crown cap and we're sparkling wines and they're laid down and aged for several years before they're disgorged and then we put the cork in there. So, so why do you think there's a resistance against uh, crown caps? Uh, it may uh, indicate Just so more soda like pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, um, I mean, I, when I was a teenager I was a home brewer, right, and you know, we used champagne bottles and crown caps. Right. So I don't know why a crown cap would wouldn't be just as effective and a lot easier to deal with because mm -hmm. uh, the machine to, to put it on is quite easy. I mean, you can get tabletop devices that would put that on as really? opposed to something that, that uh, requires a very specialized kind of bottle. Uh, the adjustments, as I understand, I'm not uh, having ever run one of these, but I've talked to people about it, um, just the adjustments and the way you operate the screw capper is, I guess, very critical to success, whereas a, a crown cap is much easier. That the pressure required to put it on and to crimp the thing is um, very easily defined and, and I guess not subject to quite as much uh, operator error mm -hmm. and, and variation. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>